So I wanted to uh, tell a little bit about what I call the gears of running. Now, in my point of view, a runner has gears just like a car. Now, let me explain. Uh, in my case, I got several gears. Now, gear zero is when I walk. Walking is easy, it's slow, it's like you just, you know, you, you unplug the brake and you just start rolling nicely, quietly. Uh, so, it just, uh, it's, that is gear zero, that is the basics. Now, I, I rarely use it, except for resting or when it's impossible to run. Now, gear one is the slow trot. It's, it's when you start. Now, this one, I have several uses for it. First, it's, um, for instance, when I just uh, run fast downhill and I'm starting to go uphill, or I just changed, you know, the, the inclination is changed, uh, to readapt uh, for a dozen of seconds or a longer, I'm gonna run, you know, very slowly. Now, this is gear one. Gear two uh, is when you accelerate a little bit. So you start feeling better and I get to go a little faster. So, for instance, like, like now, you know, I've, I've pushed a little bit. Now, gear two is a good running gear for me because I'm not pushing too much, so I can hold this one for quite a long time. Now, on, the, on going down, it's also possible to have a gear two. And basically, if you look like this, Gear 1 is going to be something like that. Gear 2 is going to be a little faster when I'm stopping it. And gear 3 is an acceleration. So it's now it's speed of running. Uh, the one that I would have whenever I feel good, whenever everything is okay, that's the gear I'm trying to hold. And gear 3 on going up is going to be something like this. So I'm pushing, you know. Uh, it requires an effort, but I'm not going over my capacity. So, gear 3 is also one of the good running gears that I use on this run. Uh, finally, there is gear 4 and 5. So, these ones are the speeding up. They are gears that I rarely use, except for rare occasions for this daily run. But they are gears that I use on trainings, on short runs, on competition, and Gear 4 is pushing harder and it's something you cannot hold for too long and it starts producing lactic acid. So it's not good for endurance for me and I try not to get there. Also, back to gear 1, this is the gear that I use when I have to go on Facebook, for instance, publish a photo, check what people are saying, or uh, you know, publish the YouTube video, stuff like that, check the map. Basically, I have to slow down to a point where I can move around and control uh, what I see so I don't have an accident and at the same time I can look at, the, at my map, you know, or change a map, check how, how much I'm going, uh, the distance I've gone or the speed I'm going, stuff like that. And this requires uh, precautions uh, in order to avoid any problems with the road and be able to check the road from time to time. Of course, it's much harder on going down or on bad roads. It's way easier to do on going up or on good roads, on the concrete roads, or on very, you know, the, the roads where there is no, no stones, nothing. So that's it. And I really think that, like, uh, like in a car, you pass these gears, you know, depending on how long I'm going. I'm, I might be longer in gear 2 if I go for a longer distance and use gear 3 only occasionally and in the same way I might uh, use gear 3 more if I go for a shorter distance but I'm a really good, in a really good pace. So that's about the gears of running and I guess other runners have that and have their own vision of that. So it was really nice seeing you and on that note I will leave you and we'll see you on another day.